now. It's the world's oldest lifeboat, delivered to the people in 1802 when Redcar was just a cluster of fishermen's cottages. But with some of the timber on the Zetland now rotting, a conservation project started today to preserve one of the most important vessels in maritime history. Stuart Winkup reports. Replacing the rot on the world's oldest lifeboat. It was saving lives before the Battle of Trafalgar. 67 years older than the Cutty Sark. The most famous rescue, of course, you came ashore with 52 people aboard. There's lots of tales of, of heroism. The underside of this deck hasn't been exposed for nearly 200 years. It's got to be kept. It's, it's, it's absolutely... Uh, it, we would be irresponsible if we didn't do it. It is the oldest one in the world, which is indisputable, um, and she's in fine condition. Most lifeboats lasted 20, 30 years. This one was done in 18, 1802. Some of the timbers were taken out so a detailed evaluation could be made of the vessel. The hull is in good condition. All the work will be internal. On the internal side of the vessel, which is very complexly built, it's all literally divided up into separate airtight compartments and because it's all built of wood, um, there are some areas which are giving a little worry, but overall we think it's again relatively sound. Volunteers admit this is a big job, at this stage they don't know how much it will all cost, but are very confident of getting lottery funding to pay for this vital work. Stuart Winkup, BBC Look North, Red Car.